my name's Karen and I am Principal Teacher for Gavel Deaf Centre. Our children have uh, a lot of access to deaf adults, deaf peers. Um, we attend um, events like um, the Church for the Deaf in Glasgow where we meet other um, children, deaf children from schools and units across central Scotland. Um, and from all that, they sort of, um, they see good deaf role models really um, all the time. Um, within school also, um, part of the role of the teachers of the deaf that are working with the children is to teach them about their deafness, talk about their deafness, about the issues that might arise from that, um, and support them in how to sort of overcome any of those issues um, but really I think the big part of it is just about being involved in a deaf community and seeing other deaf people and, and, and interacting with other deaf people that they really learn about being part of that community themselves. The children in this school are, are, are very lucky in the mainstream of the school because um, they're seeing um, sign language and BSL around them on a daily basis. They're all learning sign language. Part of that teaching that um, Paul, our BSL tutor, does in the class is uh, also about teaching them deaf awareness, um, how to be more deaf friendly. Um, they have friends who are deaf within the school, within their class. Um, we also invite um, people into the school. We have an event every year called the Celebration of Sign, um, where we will invite in deaf um, adults from the local community. Um, we'll invite in other deaf organisations like National Deaf Children's Society, the BDA, and representatives from all these places to come in and meet all the children. Um, and in particular, our older children, primary six and seven pupils, who are all working towards SQA qualifications in sign language, and they then get an opportunity to practice that with deaf people. Mm. Throughout the school, um, there is French and Spanish um, across Moorfoot. Um, depending on the um, level of hearing that our deaf children have, some of them will participate in that within the class. Um, for others, where it's not relevant for them to be learning another spoken language, they do a bit of research on the foreign sign languages. So we have some of our children just now who are researching Spanish sign language because they're doing a class assembly on Spain. Um, so the hearing children in the class are obviously learning spoken Spanish and they're do including that in their assembly. Um, but one of our pupils will be doing um, Spanish sign language. So um, yeah, they, they all get an opportunity to learn several languages. They are invited in regularly to the school, all our parents, um, whether they're hearing or deaf. Um, we have an open door policy within Garville, so parents are, are in and out. We, for the hearing parents of deaf children, um, they're invited to learn BSL um, with Paul, either here within the centre or for some parents who can't, uh, who live further afield and can't travel that far, um, we will set up classes locally in their local community for that. Um, for our deaf parents, again, we try to include them in that learning, so we quite often invite them along to help support the hearing parents of deaf children to learn BSL. Um, and again, things, events like our celebration of sign, all our parents and families would be invited along to that day for hearings where they get a chance to, to meet and, and chat really and get to know one another. For parents of our deaf children, we just find they feel like they can be more involved in their education and supporting them with homework. Um, and for the hearing parents, um, Again, a lot of them were saying that their children were coming home having learned sign in school and they didn't know, so they wanted to be able to understand what the children were learning and support them with that. Um, and also I think just learning a bit more about deaf culture, deaf awareness, um, 
you know, that parents are feeding back that there's just a lot of stuff they didn't know, they didn't realise, and they're finding it really interesting. Um, and some people already feel like out in the community, they're they're already wanting to try, you know, if they see a deaf person, to even try out their, their sign skills, and that's that's lovely to think that they would do that.